In today's Do Something With Your Marketing, I want you to build a content inventory. And yes, it is that time of year. Uh, what is a content inventory? It's exactly what it sounds like. An inventory of the content that you have in any number of formats. Now, if you're a high-frequency content producer or you just have a lot of content laying around, it can be hard for people to catch up. It can be hard for people who are just getting to know you to, to see everything that's available, right? You have dozens of videos, hundreds of blog posts, all these different things. And it's somebody who wants to dig in more may not necessarily have the time or the inclination to, to dig for what they're specifically looking for. So make it easy for people. So let's go through this as an exercise. Let's uh, go ahead and flip around here. Here we are in, on my YouTube channel. I, you know, I've been doing the You Ask, I Answer videos for almost two years now and done a lot of them. So let's see if we can turn that into an inventory. So you'll see, the, of course, all the videos that are on a channel. But they're, even with tags, there's not, they're not necessarily organized all that well. So let's go to Analytics instead. All right? Let's go to our Videos section. Sit, hit See More. And this brings up our video report. Right, and I want to filter on just uh, you ask on the title. Let's see what we got here. No, can't filter that there. All right, let's look at from, I think I started those in February 1 of 2018. Apply. I got lots and lots and lots of videos. So let's go ahead and export this whole thing into a CSV file and then pull open in our spreadsheet software of choice. So I now wonder what window did that open up in? Ah, there we are. So let's take a look at our videos by date actually just a video and here we have our videos by date and helpfully there's the youtube id so if we want to eventually turn these into links we can now we could focus on some of the various metrics that are involved here but that's not really what we're trying to do to this time this time we just want to do an inventory so you see, the titles all have different keywords. So let's go ahead and call one of these things Google Analytics. Let's call another one, all things IBM. How about data science and AI? And let's see what else we got here. Uh, social media. Let's do social media. So those are four topics that I tend to do a fair number of videos about. Now we're going to do the count. Uh, we're going to do a count if function with multiple nested count ifs. Um, so let's see what this looks like. This one equals count if, and we're going to do b to that cell, and then a catch all. Google Analytics plus. And I'm actually just going to copy this block over here and do one more. We'll do Tag Manager, Data Studio, and Search Console. Take that, drop all, that all the way down. Next, for IBM, I actually have a pre-stored one because I do this one an awful lot. Same general idea equals count if B2. Star data science. AI. No, I'm leaving spaces in there so it doesn't count fractional words. Intelligence. All right. I 
think the IBM one is wrong. Yes. That's all A2, and that should be B2. So I'm going to copy this whole thing. Pull open a text editor. And do a large scale find replace there because I don't want to do it one at a time. Do a quick replace all. Okay, that's ready to go back in. And paste that in. That looks better. Drop that down. Yep, now we can see some some there. We've got our data science and AI. And finally, let's do a social media one. If B2, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, and social media. So far, so good. So we've got four different topics. Now, here's how we can make these lists. Let's actually turn this, make one more column here called URL equals concatenate HTTPS www.youtube.com slash watch equals and this should make ourselves a nice YouTube video URL yep looking good and now let's sort so I'm gonna sort my column C column C now we see should see these are all of the videos I've done in the US Guy Answer series that are about Google Analytics or the Google ecosystem. So let's go ahead. I'm actually going to move these columns over here and delete these. And now everything that's in this block of text is effectively ready to become a blog post of here's all the videos that I've made about Google Analytics. So if you're trying to get caught up and you want to watch stuff about Google Analytics, this is how I produce that catalog, right? This is how I produce that um, wrap up or that compendium of all the content I've done about Google Analytics. And again, you can repeat this over and over again. Let's do a sort by data science and AI, right? Here's all the blog posts about uh, art artificial intelligence that I've done. This is a, again, this is a, is a straightforward technique. You can see we're doing it in common spreadsheet software here so it's not requiring anything super exotic now if you wanted to also leave in those metrics like views you could then call it your most popular list uh, of videos about a topic but this content inventory lets people catch up lets people figure oh these are all the things that are available to me and you could even take these urls and just write links you know in a blog post linking to each of these videos so that people can see oh if i want to on a binge watch on all of your IBM videos, you can, right? It makes this compendium. So that's what I want you to do with your marketing. Whatever, if you've got a, a blog, you can export all your blog URLs, YouTube videos, podcast episodes, you name it. You've probably are sitting on this gold mine of content, but because it's not presented in an easy to consume, easy to binge format, uh, people won't catch up. They'll, they'll just kind of start, get on the train from wherever it is that they first started following you and not realize there's this massive back history of good stuff that you have that you could turn into, you know, wrap-up posts and things. I think about these content inventories a lot at this time of year, at the end of the uh, the calendar year, because a, a lot of folks for the holidays, they're like, yeah, you know, I don't know what we're going to publish, or they do, you know, year in review stuff. Or they do, you know, stuff, uh, content that they need to have in place for when staff members are on vacation, if you work at a company or an agency. This is how you produce that stuff at scale uh, with great volume, with great um, uh, far in advance so that you're not scrambling at the last minute for content, you know, the day before you're going on, on vacation. Uh, and it's valuable. 
you can take these things and update them maybe every quarter and have a new quarterly wrap up of new content about the key topic areas of your choice. So that's what I want you to do with your marketing. Again, you saw how we did it from the very beginning, export the data from the tool of your choice, do some very simple tagging, no, no machine learning or anything crazy like that. And it produces a nice list that you can then go and put in additional blog posts or wrap ups or whatever. So please do that with your marketing and make the most of the content that you already have that you worked so hard to produce. As always, please leave your comments below, subscribe to the YouTube channel and the newsletter. I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Want help solving your company's data analytics and digital marketing problems? Visit trustinsights.ai today and let us know how we can help you.